2025 Can-Am Pulse and Origin First Ride, a bold leap into the electric future. Here's a thought. Would Tesla be the dominant EV maker today if it had waited for traditional automakers to popularize electric vehicles before jumping into the market? Imagine if Honda, Toyota, Ford, BMW, or any other automotive giant had committed to EVs earlier, pulling in those initial adopters. Would we still see Teslas at every intersection, or would they have been the brand that arrived too late? While this is a hypothetical question with no clear answer, it highlights a key principle behind what's happening in Austin, Texas, where Ken AM is unveiling its new Pulse, Naked, and Origin ADV motorcycles. These models aren't just Ken AM's first mass-produced bikes since 1987. They mark a new era for the brand, one that bets on the rising popularity of electric motorcycles. To become a leader in this space, Can-Am knows it has to act early. Of course, early is relative. Electric motorcycles have been around for more than a decade. Zero Motorcycles launched its S model back in 2010. But according to Can-Am, interest in electric motorcycles is now where electric cars were in 2018, and the expectation is that growth will follow a similar path. There's a clear sense of commitment behind this initiative. Can-AM isn't chasing trends or making a token effort to reduce emissions. It's a long-term strategy to be a major player in the EV market. Two bikes, one platform. Being an early adopter comes with its challenges, especially when there's little precedent to follow. Fortunately, Can-AM benefits from being part of Bombardier Recreational Products, BRP, which brings a wealth of technical expertise and resources. The Pulse and Origin motorcycles incorporate technologies borrowed from Can-AM's side-by-sides and Sea-Doo watercraft, as well as components developed for Ski-Doo's electric snowmobile. So while these bikes represent Can-AM's return to the two-wheel market, they're backed by significant experience and rigorous testing. At the heart of Can-AM's new electric motorcycles is the 8.9 kilowatt-hour battery and Rotax e-power unit. Strategically positioned near the front of the swing arm to maximize space for the batteries and control electronics. The entire power system, including the battery, charger, inverter, and motor, is liquid-cooled, helping to regulate operating temperatures. This cooling ensures consistent performance, reduces the risk of battery degradation by maintaining even temperature across the pack, and shortens charging times as the cooling system remains active during charging. Ken-AM has also incorporated a sealed chain case, inspired by Ski-Doo snowmobiles. The benefits? Silent operation, full chain protection, and reduced maintenance. Features that appeal to newer riders who prioritize simplicity and ease of ownership. This bike aims to attract more than just hardcore motorcycle enthusiasts. It's designed for a broader audience. On the tech front, both the Pulse and Origin come equipped with advanced electronics, including ride modes, traction control, and regenerative braking. These features are controlled through a large, tablet-like 10.25-inch touchscreen display with Apple CarPlay compatibility. The Origin offers a variety of modes, normal, eco, rain, sport, off-road, and off-road plus, while the Pulse, being more street-focused, offers normal, eco, rain, and sport plus modes. In terms of suspension and wheels, the Pulse is outfitted with 17-inch cast wheels, a non-adjustable 41mm KYB fork, and a preload adjustable sack shock, providing 5.5 inches of travel front and rear. The more off-road capable Origin features tube-type 21-inch front and 18-inch rear wheels, a non-adjustable 43mm KYB fork, and a fully adjustable KYB HBG shock, both offering 10 inches of travel. This setup provides 10.8 inches of ground clearance, but also results in a taller seat height. 34.0 inches for the Origin compared to the Pulse's more accessible 30.9 inch saddle height. Brakes consist of a J.1 twin piston brake caliper and 320 millimeters disc up front, plus a J.1 single piston caliper and 240 millimeters disc out back. Rear wheel ABS and traction control are only switchable on the Origins, but don't assume the ADV inspired Origin holds all the advantages. The Pulse comes in at 390 pounds versus 412 for the Origin, and uses its combination of better aerodynamics and smaller wheels to eke a few extra miles out of a charge. 
Can-Am's advertised range is 100 miles for the Pulse and 90 miles for the Origin and Relax City Ride. Those numbers drop to around 80 miles for the Pulse and 71 miles for the Origin when riding in mixed conditions, highway and city streets. That, of course, is according to Can-Am's testing. Sustained high-speed cruising is an electric bike's enemy and will drop range even further based on our experience with the Pulse and Origin. Ken AM is quick to remind that numbers will vary depending on the conditions and that the intended use is city riding. Regenerative braking is available through passive and active modes. The former offers traditional Regen braking as you roll off the throttle, while the latter is a more aggressive and energy producing response managed by rolling the throttle forward. Both systems have minimum and maximum settings and can be turned off which enables you to tailor the Regan experience to your taste. Unique as it might be, Active Regan is quite fun to use and allows you to slow the bike to your liking with very little brake. It would be interesting to conduct back-to-back -back tests to understand how much extra juice the system produces. Can AM claims, Active Regan gives you up to four times more power to the battery. Can AM says charging from 20 to 80% takes three hours, 10 minutes using a level 1 charger or 50 minutes using a level 2 charger. The 0 to 100% charge time is 5 hours, 15 minutes for level 1 charging and 1 hour, 30 minutes for level 2 charging. Origin Ride Impressions If range and the idea of frequent charging feel at odds with the promise you get from the Origins, go anywhere look, that's because they are. In throwing a leg over the Origin, you have to accept that your adventure will be short and sweet with limited unplanned exploring. Our group spent part of the day riding 42 miles of wide open back roads from lunch in Wimberley, Texas, to an off-road park outside of Lockhart, Texas. The bikes pulled in power star. Power output tapers down when the battery becomes critically low, with 10% battery left on the pulse. Battery life was an even bigger hurdle for an Origin that was equipped with saddlebags and no windscreen modifications that affected aerodynamics, and thus range. Proper adventuring requires loading the bike down with luggage, but that creates range issues on the origin, and unless you plan to spend a decent amount of time at charging stations mid-ride, you'll need to carefully consider how you modify or load your bike. Not to mention how far you venture off the beaten path. Remember, city bike first. The origin has larger dimensions than the Pulse and feels more like a full-size motorcycle. The distance between seat and foot peg is tight, but the upright seating position and wide rider triangle are more accommodating, especially for taller riders. The dash doesn't disappear from under you as it does on the pulse, and there's still a sense of nimbleness to the bike. If there's one concern for around town riding, it's that the larger front wheel and off-road oriented Dunlop D605 tires don't offer linear, confidence-inspiring steering. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.